Hey guys, Magenta is back here today again with another Future Cup Modified Deck Profile and this time, let's start with a bit of reflection so uh, a few days ago it was uh, Kara Expo 2016 held in Singapore which is also Bush Road Spring Fest qualifier uh, for the Singapore region I mean, I tried, I brought this deck uh, to Kara Expo itself and I just got wrecked yeah, I got out at round 4. I think there's a total of 6 rounds, but I just got out at round 4. I tried my best, I mean, I lost to Shadow Shades because I had a really bad hand. But, overall I still like this deck. But, I guess this deck doesn't quite like me. Alright, let's get on with the deck profile itself. It's a Star Dragon World deck. So, it's gonna be a Jackknife Aster deck. So this is our buddy monster. V Graduation Quantum Ruler. Size 1 monster, new dragon. Stardust Brave, when this card enters the field, if you have a new dragon on your field with one soul or more, put the top card of your deck into your gauge and draw a card. So it's a really good utility card to increase your gauge and to cycle through your deck. So that's our bunny monster. So moving on to the main size 2 monsters of the deck, we run 4 copies of Star Dragoner Jackknife, in case you don't know his skill. Core cost of 1 gauge. When he enters the field, look at 3 cards from the top of the deck and put the Put a card from them into this card so and put the rest into your drop zone. Basically, you get to cross nice from your deck and you get to uh, thin out your deck by throwing all those cards into the drop zone for future cross nice. So, 4 copies. It's gonna be a main body for Esther to evolve on. And next, we run 2 copies of Star Guardian Jackknife, the old one. Core cost of 1 gauge. Uh, when this card enters the field, put up to 1 monster from your drop zone into this card so. 5k power, 3k, 6k defense. 1k more defense than uh, Star Dragon or Jackknife. But also, still a really good body for Esther. And lastly, we run 4 copies of Jackknife Esther. 2 Tasuku art and 2 just Jackknife normal art. So, what does Esther do? Uh, 6k power, 3k, 6k defense. Core cost, pay 1 gauge, and you may put this card on top of a monster with Jackknife on your field. When your opponent. Uh, during your opponent's turn, uh, if there's a Dragon Arms in this card, so this card cannot be destroyed by effects from your opponent's card. And you cannot be dealt damage by effects from your opponent's cards. And items on your field cannot be destroyed. So that's so OP. Basically, uh, your opponent can't destroy this card via effects if it's during their turn. And you cannot be dealt damage unless it's from a direct attack. So it's a really strong card can protect you from a lot of situations yeah that's the main key part of the deck basically just have Esther the tank for you and basically uh, effect damage includes penetrate so we're safe from penetrate as well so next one copy of Star Guardian Jackknife SD size 1 monster act call a size 2 new dragon from a drop zone on top of this card by paying its call cost basically you can recycle your jack we play 1 because there's really space is really tight in the deck so next up, we run 4 copies of Buddy Monster. You get to increase your gauge and draw a card. And next, we run 4 copies of Star Dragoner Luminous Blue. Basically to recycle your Dragon Arms as well. Uh, this card gets power 1k and defense 1k for each soul in the cards of your field. When this card attacks, you may put a monster from your drop zone into a soul of a new dragon on your field. Starts with 1k, power 1k, defense 2 crits. And it has Soul Guard. So basically, you can use it as a backup boss monster in case you never draw into a jack. Maybe you can just win the game with uh, Luminous Blue, stacking on Luminous Blues. I mean, that's a really cool concept. I tried it once, but uh, the game was really slow, basically. Alright, so that's it for the new Dragon Monsters. Moving on to their support weapons, the Dragon Arms. We run, for the size 3 Dragon Arms, one copy of Biggest Dragon Arms, Sonic Blast. The Dragon Arms, uh, size 3, 6k power, 6k defense. Uh, when your new dragon with this card in its soul attacks, you may pay one gauge if you do destroy a card on your opponent's field. One copy, basically, you can destroy anything from your opponent's field. Next, one copy of Great Dragon Arms, the main force. Uh, force Liberate, if this card in the soul is in the soul of your new dragon, pay one gauge. The next time that new dragon will be destroyed, that new dragon remains on the field. One copy. And moving on. To the size ones. One, Dragon Arms Radiant Alma. Basically, give your double, give your new dragon double attack if you had six life or less, and you have to pay on gauge. Next, 
Jack Arms Jack Igniter, give your Jack Knives one crit. Moving on, uh, Dragon Arms Strength, uh, give your new Dragon side power 2k and penetrate. Really good for clearing opponent center. And two copies of Dragon Arms Transporter just to beat up the other Esther decks. What does it do? When your new Dragon with this card in its soul attacks, uh, put a soul from an opponent's card into your opponent's field, in, uh, into your opponent's drop zone. Yeah, it's two copies because this card is really good against Soul Guard decks. And uh, in some cases, even when you're going up against uh, Ammonite Ace decks, it works as well. Alright, next, one copy of Dragon Arms Artiliger. If this card is in the soul of a size 2 Neo Dragon, uh, in the soul of a Neo Dragon, I mean, life out all abilities of an originally size 2 or less monster that is in battle with the Neo Dragon. This ability cannot be nullified. Basically, you can nullify. Uh, things like Penetrate or Soul Guard, as long as the monster is in battle with your new dragon. And lastly, two copies of Dragon Arms Garber Anchor. When your opponent casts a spell, uh, you may put this card into the soul, from your soul into the drop zone, pay one gauge, pay one life, and nullify the spell pass. Basically, spell nulli. So that's it for the Dragon Arms. I mean, they all have, they serve different purposes, that's why, uh, that's why we have Luminous Blue to recycle them. Alright, moving on. We run items. Four copies of Radiant Saber Providence. Pay one gauge all monsters if Jackknife gets moved. And this card gets 1k power for each card in the soul of your cards. 4k power, 2 crits. Basically, you run it to give your Jack move so you can tank for your center. And it gets really high power as, as your Jack stacks up. Pretty cool. Okay, moving on to the spells. Three copies of Mass Barrier. Nullify the Link Attack. Nullify the attack if it's not a link attack. Basically, Solomon Shield. 3 copies of Barracal Barret. Pay 1 gauge, destroy uh, defense 3k, 3k or less monster on your opponent's field. Okay, next. 4 copies of Star Jack Repair. You may only cast this card if you have a card with Jackknife in its card name on your field. Put a top card of your deck into your gauge and put a card from your drop zone into a soul of a new dragon on field. You may only cast this card once per turn. Basically, you get to charge the soul of Jack with this card. And you get to increase your gauge as well. So moving on. Four copies of Speculite Ring, Dragon Energy Clone for new dragons. Basically you can protect your jacks and give it counter attack. And lastly, one, co one copy of Planet Memory. You may only cast this card with a 5 life or less. Discard an entire hand and draw 3 cards. Basically that's it. Uh, in case you're losing and you haven't drawn into jackknives, you can cycle a whole hand just to draw into your jackknives. And lastly, you run two copies of Impact Monster, Jackknife, Full Liberate Cannon. P3 gauge and put this card on top of a, of a new dragon monster and put a card from a drop zone into this card. So 6k power, 2k, 6k defense. At the end of the battle of that this card attack, you may put up to three dragon arms from this card soul into your drop zone. If you do, deal damage to your opponent equal to the number of cards. Basically, after you attack with two crits, after you attack with two crits, you can drop dragon arms from his soul up to three and deal up to three damage to your opponent. Basically, it's a finisher card which can deal up to five damage on its own. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And of course it's a soul guard. And it's a jackknife, which means after you evolve it from whatever jackknife you have, you can still move it with Providence on the field. Yeah, so that's it for the deck profile. Yeah. So what are some main combos? Basically, you want to the most uh different dragon arms suit different matchups. Basically, if you're up against a deck with strong centers, you want to have penetrate. If you're up against a deck with uh, a lot of soul guard, maybe you want to nullify their abilities. And if you're up against a deck which keeps attacking your monsters, maybe you can use this to protect your monster. And maybe if you're up against knights, you can use this to destroy their items. And of course, mirror matchup Esther, you can always use this to burn their souls. And in the case you're rushing against uh, Crimson, you can always use Jane Actor to boost your crit. And Radiant Alma to give Jack double attack. And of course, if nothing else seems to work, you can always do a triple link attack and nullify the spell cast by your opponent. Yeah, so that's the gist of the deck. Basically, your objective is to get out Esther. And you just win the game from there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below to show me some support. If you're new to my channel, subscribe if you'd like to see more Body Fight Deck profiles, card reviews and stuff like that. So, also, uh, stay tuned to my channel for the next deck profile which will be on my Bao Sun Dragon deck which is coming up really soon and also add me on Facebook 
and you can talk to me about Bodyfy. Yeah, that's right. Goodbye, take care, see you in the next video.